If you are struggling to have confidence in your positions, if you exit your trades too early, or you are glued to the screen while your intention was to have time freedom. I used to spend all New York session from open to close, glued to the screen, just to give up all my profits back. This is what I used to struggle with and this is what most other traders struggle with. But that all can change and in this video I'm going to show you my 3 step approach that you can use in order to change that. Now in this video we will only have time to cover step 1 which is the fundamental conditions which move the market. Using this approach you will solve most of your trading problems just by picking the right market to trade. What I'm about to show you keeps happening week after week and it's not a coincidence that it keeps on happening. Now we're gonna go over three conditions and the first condition is what are the big players in the markets doing? Where are their positions? Are they longing? Are they shorting? What are they doing? And luckily we have access to that in order to see if they are even interested in this market. So let me show you in the charts. Condition number one, big players. Excuse my handwriting, it's terrible I know, but I think you can see it. This is the big players right here. And we're gonna check when they are buying, what happens? And when they are selling, what happens? So I'm going to get the vertical line. We can start from here. So this is when they are selling. This is when they are buying. Okay, this is when they are selling. This is when they are buying. This is when they are selling. So let's check now the price and see uh, what happened during those times. When they are selling, we went lower. When they are buying, we went higher. When they are selling, we went lower when they are buying we went higher when they are selling we went lower and this is without even looking at price this is only looking at one condition now there are more factors that goes into it because obviously it's not a magic you know there's things different things happening in the market so if we look a little bit backwards we can see the price going down and they are buying that's why we need to align this with different conditions in order to get the best probabilities. But I'm going to show you another example so you don't think that I made this, uh, I prepared this. We can look, let's say, at uh, some currencies, maybe, yeah, this would be nice, Australian dollar. So if I want to also do the same thing, I will come here. This is, let me start from here. This is when they were sh selling this is when they were buying this is when they were selling this is when they were buying okay and let's look now what happened when these situations were happening in the market so this is when they were buying it took a little bit of a while and then we went higher this is when they were selling we went lower this is when they were buying we went higher selling went lower and now at the time of this recording they are selling here and we can see that the price is going lower so it's not magic it's just people are buying and selling and not any people these are the commercials these have the biggest positions in the market so we have access to this information but we don't use it it's crazy we have to use it we have this information we need to study those people and see what they do and try to mimic them do the same like they do so it's very powerful um, but sometimes the problem is they are a little bit early because they hedge, they want the best prices and sometimes they tend to be a little bit early. You see we are going down and they are basically going up. Okay, until they reach the extreme then we start buying, we start seeing prices go higher. And just keep in mind this is the weekly time frame but once you get the bias of the weekly that we're going to go higher all your trades on the lower time frame, whether you're a scalper, the swing trader, day trader, you can take advantage of it because you know the bias. You're only going to long, for example, in this situation. Condition number two, valuation. What does that mean? Are we overvalued, undervalued in relation to dollar gold? Because they are the most dominant assets and commodities that we have right now. So let's go into the charts and I will show you what I mean by that. Basically, I want you to think about it like we have so many tools and we just need to put them all together to get the highest probability trades. And this is what I teach everybody in my community in the Traders Club. 
they have access to all this information and they have all these tools i teach them what they should do in every single tool and then they know now that like, okay now i should use this now i should use this so this is what we have and this is what i do and if you want to join i'm going to show you right now we have a community big community right here and i have the classroom where i share my traders club masterclass and i talk about everything you see the valuation seasonal adx um other indicators that i came came up with so and it's all for free so i don't know why you wouldn't join it's limited i'm not gonna keep it free forever and you will get access to all the cot indicators that i'm talking about so this is my valuation indicator and over here i want to remove the gold and treasuries why because we are looking at australian dollar australian dollar is usually overvalued and undervalued in relation to the dollar because the dollar is the dominant currency and if you want i would do the same like i did in the other one and see what happens when we get overvalued this is undervalued and we get overvalued what happens to price do we go lower do we go higher now there is more into it but now i'm giving you i'm just showing you how powerful this could be so we were overvalued we saw the price go lower we were undervalued we saw the price go higher overvalued price go lower undervalued price go higher same like here same like here if you notice i showed you that we were the commercials were selling and we are overvalued so when we use those together, they give us a huge confluence, right? That this is overvalued and the commercials are selling. So this is how powerful this can get once we put everything together. So here in this example is something very interesting that I want you to look at. So basically here I have palladium and I have when dollar and gold are below it, we went higher. They are above it, we went lower. They are below it, we went higher. Now I want to also see what were the commercials doing. And here is a great example that I want you to look at. Over here is as well palladium. This is the weekly. So we are basically around this area here. And if you notice, commercials are heavy sellers here. As you can see, they are heavy sellers. Okay. That means based on what I say, I'm saying that we should go lower, but we didn't. Why we didn't go lower? Because this alone cannot, this cannot be used alone. It has to be linked with other stuff to get everything aligned. And now if I go back, you can see that we were not overvalued. So they are selling, but we are not overvalued. Once they get overvalued and we have the commercials also selling, and we have a good area right here of demand of supply sorry now we have everything aligned so what i'm waiting for is to have this overvalued and this reach this there this area while commercial is still selling now we have better probabilities that the market is gonna go lower and this is what i do every single week i analyze everything i have here on the futures charts on the futures charts right here and why on the futures this is a topic we'll talk on about another video but uh, i analyze everything and i see what's aligning what's not and this is just two tools i'm going to show you one more number three open interest how many people are interested in this market and now i'm going to show you how i can use this with what i showed you from the previous two steps I'm going to give you different examples than the one we were doing because open interest acts differently in different markets. And if we look at the X, which is the dollar right now, I want you to see this relation between the commercials and open interest. Notice, notice when they go higher and the open interest goes lower, we see a move in the market. Most of the time this happens. Okay. Now, again, if we go backwards, this went lower and the open interest started going higher. So if you notice, we were going lower, but until we saw this peak, 
then the market started moving down as well as let's take another example where they were also they were here buying and we have a peak when they are buying we want it to go lower that's why here we didn't see the big moves while let's look back a little bit more over here they were buying and the operant was going lower similar situation to what we have here and we can see that the price rallied higher now open interest is a big subject that we can talk about so i'm not going to make it too complicated but just imagine the power if you have all these by your side so just use them and together by your side in order to get the bias and once you have the bias then you can trade any market you find your markets in this way and then you can scalp you can um, day trade you can swing just first of all you have to know the conditions and those are just three of the conditions there are much more you have a big toolbox and you should you know what tools to use for each situation i all teach this all in my in my uh, community the traders club it's for free limited space if you're interested join below and we can go through it all for now i have another videos that are explaining those conditions in a bigger depth as well so you can go ahead and watch it right here